Suppose you take out a loan. Now, your repayment is going to be split between the interest that you pay and the principal that you pay. Now, you can see this by creating an amortization table, which shows you how your payments are divided between interest and principal, and also what your ending balance is and beginning balance each period. But perhaps you're not that interested in the beginning and ending balance. You simply want to see how the money is divided or split between interest and principal each period. So there are four functions I'm going to use here in this example. PMT, which calculates the total annual repayment. IPMT, which only looks at the interest portion of the repayment. PPMT, which only looks at the principal portion. And we're also going to sum it up to see that our um, interest and principal add up to the same amount as the annual repayment here. So first, let's calculate the annual repayment. So I'm going to use that PMT function. And the first variable I put in is the rate. And I'm going to hit the F4 key because I'm going to, going to copy this across the um, columns. So the example I have here is that we've borrowed 10 million for eight years at an interest rate of 6%. The number of periods is eight, and that's not going to change. So I'll hit the F4 key again. And then the principal or the present value, the amount that we borrow, I'm going to put in as a negative value. So we get a positive value here. That's going to be negative C4, and again, I'm going to hit the F4 key. And if I hit Enter, I get that it's $1,610,359. Now, I should be able to copy this across. Hopefully, I've locked all the cells, and we should have the same repayment each period. And we do. Now. If we want to see the interest only, we can use the IPMT function. So we're going to put it up, equals IPMT. The rate is 6%. We do not want that to change. So we're going to hit the F4 key and lock it. The period, we want to know the interest for each different period. So I'm going to highlight that. Um, number one in cell C8, I do not want to lock it because when I move across the columns, I want, it to, I want to see what the interest is for year two, for year three, et cetera. The number of periods is eight. It has to know what the total loan payment is. This is not going to change, so I'll hit that F4 key. And again, I'm going to hit make it a negative present value here. And I'm going to lock that. And I get that the first interest in the first year is 600000 That makes sense. 6% of $10 million is 600000 So I've done this correctly. I can copy this across. And you see that the interest payment goes down each period. And that makes sense because you're only paying interest on the remaining balance. And each year, you've paid off some of the balance, so you're going to pay a little less interest. Let's do that for the principal. So I'm going to use the PPMT function. Again, same rate. I'm going to lock those cells by hitting the F4 key. I'm going to tell it which period I want. I do not want to lock that. The number of periods in the calculation is 8, and I want to lock that, so I hit the F4 key again. And again, the present value is here, and that doesn't change, so I'll lock that. And so we can see, and you can see the math looks correct here, that in the first year, you pay uh, off $1,010,359 of the balance. So if I've done this correctly, I copy across, you can see that the value of the principal that you're paying goes up and the value as the value of the interest goes down. Remember, you're making the same fixed payment. Let's make sure this is right. Let's sum this up. So I'm going to sum 
these two right here. And sure enough, this is exactly the same as this value. And if I copy it across, it stays the same. So you can see that the interest and the principal are divided um, or split the, between the total payment. So some of its principal, some of its interest, and you can see in the final period, you're paying a lot less interest because you have a much smaller balance and much more of that payment goes to paying off the principal. So this is a, a handy way to see this. We can also plot this if we'd like. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to highlight all of these cells and I'm going to go to insert and I like to pick recommended chart because oftentimes I don't know which chart to pick and let me see what I have here. Let's see. Well, I've got the sum. I don't want the sum. So let me let me redo that. Let me just do the first three. This may give me a better chart. Here we go. All right, this looks like a good chart here. Let's see what we have here. You can see the blue line or the blue bar is the total payment. The red bar is the interest only, and the green bar is the principal only. And you can see that with time, the interest goes down, and the amount of principal that gets paid goes up. And in fact, it's the case that um, we know that the payment, the fixed payment, stays the same. And so you can see how it's divided, how when you take out a loan, you pay a lot of interest in the early years. That's why when you get a mortgage in the early years, you have a lot of interest to deduct because interest is tax deductible um, from your, uh, for your, uh, when you do your income taxes. As you move through time and you get closer to the end of the mortgage, you have really very little interest because you've paid off so much of the balance. So I hope this is helpful. These are, um, a couple of really useful functions that you, um, you may be able to use to help you better understand how an amortizing loan works.